Hello. I can't pass the duel. Ever. Even if it's for a million dollar card. My programming doesn't entail it. Hey, passing a good art like a good card. Pardon me, like a bastard of cruelty. Cruelties or cruelty? Are you an ape? Genius card is nice, but you gotta take the automatic dicks. I would say, although I could compromise sometimes and take the maybe ticket card. I think that's better. Although I bet you that master is maybe not even a ticket. I think prices have changed so drastically. Excuse me. Um, I don't know how to look both of these. I wouldn't even necessarily say this is better. Excuse me, but maybe slightly early when you're not committed. The other one's really good though. Probably more practical, even. I can certainly argue it's better. I think this is eight mana to get going like crazy, but I knew that's a crazy advantage when you do. I like the deputy, I like this, but I like the smallest. I love those colors, so I'll try to play that. I don't love blue-green as much. Not nearly. Oh, I... I was say, well, I have to play it. Seeing this, then I realized that there's the tithe trigger. Makes it tough for me. The incubation is better. Plus a card. Like obsessed with tithe trigger. As far as I'm concerned, this is a textbook difficult pick. I'm inclined to make a safer pick with a guild game, helping you in your color quests versus possibly leading you down the wrong path. Mastiff is looking good. I don't want to play white green necessarily, but to just dismiss it as foolish. Deputy. So nice. And the guild gate is looking really good too, though. Well, I'll take it. More fix. I don't usually get the guild gates. I try not to play them, as you might know if you've seen any RTR. Nice. The two best 
gatekeeper guys. And the Drake is good. Boost arm helps. I like the Piker. Don't have any red, so I'll stay away from the Piker, I think. Right, control better than it seems, more burst as well. Boost arm is not bad. Rock I don't love, but that's pretty good. Meaning playable. It's a flying creature, and that first strike is huge. I mean, this guy owns a lot. We can get in there. Quite decent. It's filler. You can afford it. You're not clunky in five and six drops. strings it got better and better over time as far as I was concerned I don't mind it now you can get them really late so that's something to consider of course that's metagame talk but um let's get with like cipher not cipher um next door and uh, triggers Oh wow, it's nice and light. Triggers a you know, gutter snipe. Or helps mana fixing even. Does quite a lot of stuff. Helps just even aggressive decks. Tap some things. You can get in there. Spend more mana. Play more things. Alpha strike and whatnot. Nice and tacky. Seemingly card disadvantage or whatever. Sort of just a cheap trick, but. And it's tech if I ever saw it. Well, excuse me. You're terribly rude to me to yawn. I'm not tired. You lost it, I suppose. I have to stand up, <clears throat> clear my throat, talk as if there's nobody in the room, which is difficult for me. <laughs> I'm always in the frame of mind that I gotta shut up. Because I'm out in a place where everybody's making noise. By myself, I can't bring myself to <laughs> yelling or speaking in a you know, bo boisterous tone. That uh, didn't know if that was nice. Maybe I'll get to play my three favorite colors after all. Maybe even splash green. Okay. Uh, the rogue is nice. Not the bomber core and the infantry. this a lot, in fact. Why did I do this and this? Spotlight will get in there, though. I realize it's almost a optimistic card, but it's really cool. You can hold it in your hand. Nice surprise. Perfect surprise victory. That guild mage, that lovely guild mage. I am far from playing cruel. Forcer is nice. That's a good card. It's upper tier filler. Take the one one and store it for one over it, for example, but. Enforcer is pretty high pick. Or no recto strike. Shadow slice is always nice. Plus the generic is good.
Psychic strike, I do not like. Two drops, one drops in it. That's fine, we can make it work like this. Just have to let it breathe and get some mana. Around 18, maybe, or whatnot. Get some life gain, buy yourself some time, have some good removal, and then use temporal based cards. Some things on top of libraries and enchant things, maybe, or whatever. Get to your nice big clunky stuff like this. This guy's just so good. Like, this stuff just is so good. It like, makes you stabilize so well. That's why these cards are so good. Just late game card advantage and. Just sheer control and life manipulation and great tricks and everything. But the card advantage kind of thing, the uh, overall, overall late game card quality is what's great about blue, black, white. Beautiful for us for the last pick. And it's going to be a foil mythic. I want a shade right now. I am pleased though to take this wonderful card. Love it. The Augur Spree or the Rex Matthew Guild Mage is probably better than the Judgment slightly, but I'm glad I can burp. Excuse me. Use that card. Judgment is quite good. Not ideal unless you've got tokens, but it's not good. I suppose I do. It's time. I can get a fifth or token. God, my gatekeepers. Hmm. Rust burn. I'll have to pass it, I suppose. Uh, more tokens, maybe. Wouldn't like it this. It can be difficult to manipulate. You just have to play it when you gain an, an advantage from it. The Slum Reaper, and if you've got good tricks, anyways. Just sort of uh, cuts down on the creatures. You know, if you're killing their creatures and they're hurting for numbers, theoretically, and you're just essentially using it as a removal, knowing you can recover better, maybe. I mean, even if you just sacrifice itself. I don't want to do that generally, though. I like the 4 2. Often there's something better you can sack. Get rid of a little something, but I don't really have any crappy creatures. I don't really have any creatures. Well, a lot of good things. 
was pretty good anyways. Like the junction. Probably have to take that down. Another three drop. Um, pass another frost burn weird, give somebody a crazy deck. Um, I could certainly play it double blue's not nearly impossible. I don't like it though. That rune might needs more need more um, benefit to me than passing that. I'm taking that frost burn. Love the rest of it. I can totally use it. So hurt for two drops. This card is better though. I just just this year, just this year. Whatever. They're good. Eyes in the sky is great too. I think I just have to take another one of these. Tower drag, great. You got plenty of three drops as we mentioned, I think. Anyways, that's nice. They're slow, I know, but being able to just take out creatures clearly is key very often. Oh, it's got a huge creature. That sucks. If only I could just take it off the board forever. I would pay a hundred mana. Of course the mana is a big deal, but it's just so extremely relevant to have removal. You'll only go so far if you just have your own kind of creatures or whatever. Avoiding everything being extremely passive other than just playing things, dropping the creatures. Alpha Strike's only got so far. Cluster Coil I like. All these cards are pretty good. Chorus is a card that always kills me. Decks. All right. I very likely will be playing eighteen cards. Dual land, I win. Stone. I know they ram into everything. Maybe I should put uh, they're not amazing. And the right deck they're very good, but otherwise don't really need to worry about them. Just play a land instead. Waste a turn while you're ramping to five mana on turn four. Whatever you're trying to do desperately, it's like 
you know, there's other reasons and you could cycle it and stuff, but better to have something more practical generally. Change the deck. I added those two green giving lands, so you can cast that in cool rare maximum, which isn't work. I'm sure. Good God, a burping pin. Pardon me. <clears throat> uh, I suppose not. the mess. Hmm. That's nice. <coughs> Good God, pardon me. Was I take it all? Sure, that was wrong. But I was using my mana. I tapped down, is that good?
Oops. <clears throat> that wasn't good. I don't know if it mattered much, but I accidentally pressed F6. So here we are attacking and what to do. It's overly aggressive. Completely terrible play. Like, what the fuck am I trying to do? Attack with this, maybe. I'm wondering if I should just do that. Probably not, but I did it. Oh my god. Best thing ever. That's not one too many creatures, maybe not this. <laughs> I'm worried about this trample, I guess. He taps his mana like I do. He just floats mana randomly. Oh, there we go. Right, that makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> I just like to burn. Remind me of when mana burn was a thing. Keep F6 win. Token. Make sure that's five. slow but okay I gotta keep that spotlight might actually come in handy for the hex proof thing. Okay hold it though.
Changing my mind. Let's see if I can get to four. And he doesn't play hex proof things. Very likely I will die. Wish I had a uh, fart. Play the guild game, perhaps. I can't imagine what I'll rip. That will save me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Looks like a game three. And exile all creatures. Awesome. Making this game more dramatic. It's funny though, I've had people like that who you'd assume are nice and 99.9% .9 are when they say something like that. But they get all weird about it then. <laughs> you know, after wishing you luck. For some reason, just do it 180 or whatever. It can be fun. You're like, I thought you were nice, now you're being weird.
so I wouldn't mind getting rid of something like that. Getting this activated would be nice though, quickly. Getting this going is good as well. Just don't know. Probably some crack play. I'm gonna. Broker seems best, maybe now. I don't really know what else to steal. That'll be extremely relevant right now. But could of course be something. Yes, I could have waited, for example. Uh, and the trouble has got some crazy cool creatures. We'll see what happens, so it's early. I've got some good things myself. Turn. I don't think I can attack. Or should. Do not know. Well, that's six mana spells, I believe. Can't play this guy. No. Honestly, I have no idea. Judgment or this. Seems like a terrible play. Sin Collector was even wrong play. That's how bad I am every turn. I <laughs> think wrong plays. Every decision is wrong. This one. Hmm. I honestly have no idea.
there's little hope, if any. Fair enough. And I'm going to hit the stop button. And I thank you as always. That's something everybody says and say, but it's true. See so, ya. Yeah.